Hello, sweet souls. Happy Wednesday, June 15th. Um, this is, it will be just a really quick reading. Uh, it was a super busy day today, but I wanted to come on and do a reading for you guys uh, for the strawberry full moon we just had. So um, I'm going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. And we're just going to pull a couple cards. What do we need to know? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels and Saints. Uh, for this strawberry full moon. What do we need to know? Thank you. Oh, Lord. Okay, your past person that you were committed to, going through heartbreak, break, still in lower vibrational energy. This comes up all the time, guys. What do we need to know about the strawberry full moon? You are in this King of Pentacles energy. You're very proud, confident. You are self-sufficient. You know your value. You know your worth. And you're about to be rewarded for all the good that you've put out into the world. Um, let's see what this is about. What is this Ten of Wands? Oh, okay. Yeah. You are dropping the burden of the past. You are standing in this King of Swords energy. And you're cutting people out of your life that are not in alignment with you. You will have victory. And those that harmed you will have to watch. They will have to watch you succeed you elevate in life and you be successful let's see what else yeah and that's causing those people that hurt you to be in this deep regret sadness anxiety depression um what is this what is this you know, but you're, you're following your own passionate, creative endeavors. You're finding balance in your life. You're defending what's right for you. Uh, you have no interest in drama. Now, this past um, energy that came out doesn't have to be love. This can be family. This can be friends. Um, this is someone that you worked with that you were in, like, a family dynamic or a really close friendship. So it doesn't necessarily have to be love. Yeah. There is toxicity around you, but you're the star and you shine light on people's toxic energies and um, you are meant to shine. Yeah, the wheel's turning in your favor. And now who all these energies are, whoever they are to you, that you are a missed opportunity. You're the hermit. You have so much wisdom. You walk away from people that don't serve you and you close the cycle. Yes, look, you're the queen of pentacles, which is a divine match to the king of pentacles. You're walking into a soul connection, which is beautiful. All right, let's see what comes out of this deck. Wow. <laughs> you know, you have the Ten of Pentacles. You have generational wealth. You have uh, working with other people that are in alignment with you, that are at your level. Um, you know, the, the Divine wants you to know anyone that, that was sneaky, that lied, that slandered you, you don't have to worry because their karma is here. And this is someone you definitely blocked in your life. And God doesn't want you to pay any mind to it. Don't pay any mind to it. You just keep going forward. Yeah, what did I just say? Justice. And this burden is no longer yours because that baton has been passed on. So, God's saying, don't worry. I have it. I have it under control. Yeah. This soul connection with someone that was cold and detached that lied. Karma's coming for him. Karma is coming. What is this? What is this? Yeah. And you've been waiting um, a long time. You've been investing in yourself. And these opportunities are coming in. And you're becoming this lady of luxury. The nine of pentacles. Grounded, stable, financially secure, confident in who you are. You're also the high priestess. You listen to your intuition, which is amazing. Um, so that's really what is guiding you right now and so you don't miss opportunities yeah you've defeated um, all the project projections of sadness depression insecurities you defeated it victory is yours no one can project anything on you anymore because you know how amazing you are you do you know your value you know your worth yeah so whoever these people are from the past that want to apologize uh, God's stopping them God is stopping them. Yeah. He's forcing them to watch while you move on. He's, he's forcing them to watch you move on in your life. Again, you're the hermit. You're so wise. You go within. You isolate. You stay away from people. So 
that you can receive God's guidance, divine wisdom. Yeah, and you have a passionate new beginning. It is a gift from God. You deserve it, you've earned it. Could be with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. And people are gonna be upset about it. People don't want you to be happy. They don't want you to have a divine connection. They don't want you to have success, but it's not up to them. It's not up to them. Yeah, it's just because they are stuck in the pain that they've caused you. So that's that's not your problem. Yeah, a dictator. Emperor in reverse. This is a very toxic, controlling, dominating energy. Yeah, and you're taking a brand new leap of faith with a king of cups. Someone that's loving, kind, empathetic. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. This is just someone that's going to match your energy because you've already done the healing work, which is beautiful. Look, you chose yourself. You chose yourself. You're following your own creative endeavors, and it's leading to financial abundance. Being grounded, stable, and mature, you're divinely protected, and so are your wishes. Uh, you are putting all your time and attention on your creative endeavors, and it's going to pay off. And it took going through a lot of pain and suffering to get there, but you did. So, you guys, this is your reading. Um, sorry the past keeps coming up, but what can we do? doesn't matter. I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.